Dr. M here with a supplemental video um, for the spring 2015 lecture course on maternal effects. So this is a tricky situation because what maternal effects means is that whatever phenotype you express is not due to your own genotype, but it's actually due to your mom's genotype. So let's say we have snails they can have their shell coiled to the right and be dextral coiling, which is the wild type dominant um, situation, or they could be coiled to the left and have sinistral coiling, which is the caused by a recessive allele. So individuals that are homozygous recessive um, are, yeah, that causes sinistral coiling and um, individuals that are coiled to the right are dextrally coiled. So let's say that these two individuals mate and produce a heterozygous offspring. And the thing about these snails is that when females are, um, and actually they're hermaphrodites, so they produce both eggs and sperm. So when an individual is producing eggs, during oogenesis, they are going to be putting uh, gene transcripts or RNA transcripts, gene products, into the egg. And these transcripts are going to influence the direction of coiling, such that this individual, which is in the female role, is producing eggs that only have this S transcript in them. And as a result, they are going to be sinistrally coiled. Now, this individual is actually heterozygous, so that when um, they are putting, um, when this individual is making its eggs and putting transcripts in, it's going to be putting in both basically um, the dominant transcript into those eggs. Um, we're probably assuming that this recessive S means that there's just a lack of production of the transcript, or maybe that whatever transcript is produced um, is non-functional, or at any rate it is masked by the dominant transcript. So eggs of this individual are always going to contain the dominant transcript, and as a result, all of this individual's offspring are going to be dextrally coiled, regardless of what their own genotypes are. Okay, so the genotype at this S locus is not determining so much the individual's own coiling pattern, but it's determining the offspring's coiling pattern. So for example, among these individuals, both of these individuals will have eggs, will have offspring that will be dextrally coiled. This individual will have offspring that are um, sinistrally coiled, even though um, there has a dextral coiling itself. So those are maternal effects.